this is Miss Tan again. Today, we are going to learn about Chinese characters or Han Zi. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to identify the formation of Chinese characters and apply the rules of stroke order to write the Chinese characters correctly. Let's start with a brief history of Chinese characters. Chinese characters, also known as Han Zi, are one of the earliest forms of written language in the world. Unlike the writing system of many alphabetical languages, Chinese characters are formed with no letter or combination of letter to represent the sounds of the Chinese language. Rather, they are symbols, constructors, and used to convey meanings as well as sounds that indicate meanings. Although we still do not know exactly how long Chinese characters have been in existence, we do know that Chinese characters have had history as a highly developed writing system for no less than 3,000 years. The earliest Chinese characters appear on turtle seals or animal bones and called as oracle bones scripts. In the years 1950 years, the government of mainland China simplified the writing form of many traditional characters in order to help the learner to read and write better. Simplified Chinese is mainly used in China, Singapore, and Malaysia, while Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau are using traditional Chinese. The table below shows the development of Chinese characters from oracle bone scripts to modern simplified scripts. The first row shows the Chinese characters ma, which means horse, in oracle bone scripts, traditional Chinese, and simplified Chinese. The second row is the Chinese characters for meow, which means bird. The third row is pui or tortoise, and the last one is yu or fish. These earliest Chinese characters actually were based on the pictures of the elements or things. Over time, these pictures were refined in the characters that we see today. The Pishum methods of forming Chinese characters was first classified by the Chinese linguist Si Sen, who divided the scripts into six categories. The first four categories refer to ways of composing Chinese characters and the last two refer to word usage. So, we are going to learn the four main categories in the formation of Chinese characters which are pictograph, ideograph, associative and pictophonetic. I'm going to explain them one by one. This table shows some examples of pictograph characters, xiang xing zi. Pictograph are words formed from things which can be drawn, such as animals, a person, or objects. Contrary to popular belief, pictograph make up only a small portion, about 4% of Chinese characters. While characters in this category derived from pictures, they have been standardized, simplified, and stylized to make them easier to write, and their derivation is therefore not always obvious. Ideograph or zi shi zi are words formed from things that cannot be drawn, such as directions or numbers. These characters created by drawing an abstract sign to indicate an abstract concept, or adding or changing a stroke to an existing pictograph characters to indicate a new meaning. In the characters of above, shang, and below, xia, you can see there is a horizontal line either above or below it. So this represents the idea of 
above or below. Another example is the word Ren in number 6. This character means knife edge. It is formed by making a symbol on Tao, which is a pictograph for knife. Now, we move to the third category, associative. Hui Yi Zi. Shi Shen estimated that 13 of characters fall into this category. These characters created by combining two or more pictograph components to infer a new meaning. In number one, you can see a man follow another man. This means follow, chong. Number two, you can see two trees put together, become woods or forest, ling. Number three is a picture put hand above eyes to see. And this is the character for to see, kan. Picture phonetic or xing shen zi is the most numerous category. Approximately more than 80% of Chinese characters belong in this category. These characters are composed of two parts. One is pictograph component that represents a meaning and another component that gives you the idea of the pronunciation. In the table, you can see all the Chinese characters in the first column are same or very near to the pronunciation of Qing. Number one, the left hand side of the characters means Shan. It is the characters for Sunny, Qing. Number two, the left hand side means Speak. And this is the characters for Qing, Please. Number three, the left hand side means heart, and this is the character for feeling, qing. Number four, the left hand side means eyes, and this is the character for eyes, jing. Number five, the left hand side means water, and this character means clean, qing. So you can see these characters have one part with give it. The meaning and this is called the radical. In the next video, I will continue with the strokes of Chinese characters. See you then.